Hello and welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we are going over armoured cable and specifically the importance of making sure the outside is earthed. Now I've had different things from governing bodies. Alexa told me you need to only earth the supply side. Other people have told me you need to earth both sides. If you know, whack it in the comments section and you can point out the regs I see the sense in earthing both sides unless you're going to a shed for instance where you've maybe made the shed a TT system for reasons and you don't want to combine the two earths. But why do we earth the armoured specifically? That is its primary form of defence. A lot of people think that actually the armouring is there to provide mechanical protection from damage and danger and that is its secondary function. Hello cat. And that is a great function, however, <laughs> interlude from the cat, you really need to earth this in case a cat mauls it and chews it, especially if you've got a psychotic, co psychotic cat like me. In reality though, the reason we earth this is because if you were to damage it and damage the live and then come in contact, this is the quickest and best path to earth. So let me give you an example. I'm there cutting with my shears with my eyes closed because I always do my garden cutting with my eyes closed and I don't know there's an armoured cable and I've stabbed through it with the shears. The pins have gone through, passed, pushed away the armouring because it's gone in between, pierced the live conductor, cat's chewing a tree, pierced the live conductor, now kitty, pierced the live conductor and short-circuited. They're all metal shears. If the armoring's not earthed, what happens is might trip out. Well, hopefully will trip out. It'll trip out a lot quicker if it's on an RCD. But what will happen is the shock will go through that into the armoring. Because the armoring's not earthed, it won't go anywhere. The armoring will just stay live through the shears into you and the fault path will go down through you to earth. Not good. Not good at all. The other thing is, what if something breaks the inner core, it wears out, it's got too tight a bend, you're putting too much load for it and it slowly wears the inner insulation and slowly melts through to the earth. Then the armoring is going to become live and it's got no function to trip out. If it's on an RCD it hopefully will trip out from imbalance but if it's not, an armoured cable doesn't have to be on if it's installed correctly then this armoring's just live waiting for someone to touch it, waiting for something bad to happen. If it is earthed, what will happen is that will operate the breaker and that will operate a breaker quicker than, than if it's not earthed. It's going to create more of a short circuit, quicker short circuit, higher fault path and blow that breaker quicker. If you're going through with your shears and you pierce it, and we've pushed across this armoured cable, what it is going to do is we're going to go into the shears, straight into this armouring. It's going to go down the armouring, operate your breaker quicker. More importantly, it's going to divert most of the fault path down that metal because metal is a better conductor than you. It's got less resistance, especially that volume with that many cores. So most of the fault is going to take away and leave less fault going through you to earth because it's a higher resistance and that might be the difference that saves your life. So, it needs to be connected to help comply with ADS, automatic disconnection of supply. Needs to be done like that so it greatly reduces most of the fault from going through you in the event of a fault. Simple, so if you're not armoring, no good, C2. So, I'm sure we've all seen it from gardeners, landscapers, DIYers and poor electricians. If you're doing it, make sure you earth it. If you don't know about the whisker boxes, there's a great method with little brass joiners, couplers that continue the earth on and allow you to screw little fly leads in. Make sure you earth that arm ring. It may cost a bit more, but especially outside, quite properly, do it properly, outside in a vulnerable position, you want to do it right because you don't want someone to get a nasty shock or die 
from poor installation. If you enjoy our videos, please hit the like button, leave a comment, it really helps. It really helps us make more content. Subscribe if you're not, hit the bell icon and you'll get our notifications and let us know what you wanna hear. If there's anything electrical, mental health related that you wanna hear, let us know and we'll put it in the comments. We'll put it in our content. We'll put it wherever you want, within reason. Thank you.